Hi, welcome to Genesis Engineers Academy. So today's topic is uh, to draw common tangents between two circles. Now to draw a tangent to a circle at a given point. So first uh, we have to draw a circle with center O and uh, with a radius. And so this is the point O that is the center of the circle and I have drawn a circle with a, a radius. Now it is time to mark the point to P that is on the circle. Right? Now you have to draw a line OP and extend the same line up to Q keeping the distance OP is equal to QP that is now OP is equal to PQ now you have to draw two arcs with the centers O and Q with O one arc with Q another arc that is now the intersection point I have to mark as R. Now you have to draw the line that is joining the P and Q uh, that is R. Now this is the tangent to the given circle on a given point. The second one to draw a tangent to a circle from a given point to outside the circle. So draw a circle with center O and locate a point to outside the circle that is the P point outside the circle. Draw a line OP that is you have to connect the O and P and the, this OP has to be bisected to find out the center of OP that uh, midpoint we call that as C. So it is a bisecting that is uh, you have to draw two arcs from O and P. So this will give us C. The C is the midpoint of OP. So draw an arc with center C and radius equal to OC or CP. That circle will cut the that arc will cut the circle at two points that is A and B. And now it is time to connect or otherwise connect the draw the line connecting the points A and P. AP is one tangent and BP is another tangent. So the P can be located anywhere but it should be outside the circle. The third task is to draw internal common tangents to given circles but uh, they are equal radii. So the circles must be same. So to draw this one you have to locate the two points in order to locate the points O and P. I simply draw these two lines, three li these two vertical lines and one horizontal line. The intersecting of the vertical and horizontal will give us uh, center points. These vertical lines distance you can also use as a center distance. Right? This is O and the circle. This is P and the circle. Each now they bisect the line OP and that will give us the midpoint. Okay, so that is the midpoint. I can call that as a Q. 
Now draw arcs with the diameter OQ and QP. RQP cutting circles at A, B, C, D. So using Q or OQ, and you can find out the if you want to, you can uh, again bisect to find out the center. So if you want to know then, or simply measure the total distance OQ, and you mark the center point, and it is a very good practice so to have. Another arcs to find out the center of this line. You understand? So that is very important. So using that center, you have to draw arc. That is the arc. This will cut the this circle at two two points. And the same thing I have used to cut the the other circle. And these are the points A, and this is the point B. So if you join these A and B, you will get a tangent that is internal, that is in between the circle. So this is one tangent. You can also use the same arc. That is CD. You draw this one. This will give us the another tangent. So this is internal common. Tangents, so the tangent line is common to both the circles, like AB and CD. And one more thing is this method is used for equal radii of the circles given. The next one is to draw internal common tangents to given circles of unequal radii. So this will be the radius of the pulleys. And you can draw the belt also. That this example can be used for that practice. Okay, but in your engineering drawing, you have to draw two circles having different radii. What I have to draw? First, I have to draw the two vertical lines that gives us the distance between two circles. If sometimes asked, you have to maintain the Central distance between the two circles. So this is one circle. This is another circle. Right now, bisect the OP same as we have done in the previous case also, and you have to draw that is perpendicular bisector, and the midpoint in this case also it is Q. Now you have to draw a semicircle with radius OQ or QP. With the center as Q, okay. So this is the semicircle. Draw an arc with radius equal to sum of radii of two circles. Now here you have to draw an arc that cuts the semicircle, but the radius of that arc is the sum of the radiuses of these two circles. Suppose it is R one. This is R two, okay. So this is R one, okay. So the arc radius now is R one plus R two. So that will cut the the semicircle at a point E. So now I have drawn a circle that is arc, keeping the radius as R one plus R two, that intersect the semicircle at point E. Now you have to join OA and okay, so that will you have to join OA that will cut the circle that is bigger circle at point one. Okay, right. This is a point of tangency. That is now you have to draw another line that is parallel to OA. That is PB. You understand? So what I uh, have written as uh, what do you call PD, but it is PB. Okay. So this PB cuts the smaller circle at point to two. So this uh, OA and PB are parallel. Okay. So it is time to connect these two points that will form a tangent line. Between two circles, 
this is one of the two tangents we can draw between the two circles. I have repeated the same thing. I have drawn semicircle, and you have to draw another another arc, keeping the radius as r one plus r two, and you have to join the these two points. That will cut the circle bigger circle at point three. Right, you have to draw another parallel line to this line. Okay, that will also give the another point that is four. Now it is drawn. That is three, four, two, one. That's all. So these one, two, and three, four are common tangents between two unequal radii circles. The next topic is. to draw external common tangents to given circles of equal radii so this is the simplest one we have to draw two circles with centers o and p and this gives us these two verticals gives us the center points of the two circles and also the distance between the two circles center distance so this is o and this is p have drawn Same circles and these uh, vertical lines, uh, also called as uh, dia vertical diameters. This is uh, one vertical diameter. This is another vertical diameter. This will cut the the circle at this point uh, and this point uh, and this point. Uh, okay, so this is another point. We have got to uh, uh, that is. Uh, Four points. See, A point, that is B point, C point, that is D point. So it is time to connect these two AB and CD. AB is one external tangent to the same. Circles of equal radius. Another. That's all. Simplest one. Next one is to draw equal common tangents. That is external to the given circles of unequal radii. Same thing. We have to proceed. Draw the two circles with. This is gives the center distance. Okay. Now you draw one more horizontal line. That will intersect the two vertical lines at O and O one, and you have to draw the two circles. Okay, in this case, you have to draw one more cycle circle. Okay, suppose if this is the radi if this ra this radius is R one and this radius is R two, then you have to draw another circle. That is uh, R is equal to R one minus R two because uh, R one is a bigger circle radius. Okay, you have to draw one more circle with center O and radius equal to R one minus R two. Okay, now bisect O and O one as in the previous case, and you have to find out the middle point that is P. And you have to draw semicircle with center P and radius equal to O P R P O one. Okay, so this semicircle will cut the smaller circle that is here. Okay, so this this will cut the point at this point. Okay, that point I can call it as A. And I have to simply join O and A, and I have to uh, extend that to O A to outside. That will cut the this circle at this point. First, you have to draw the circle and draw the semicircle. This semicircle will cut the smaller circle at this point, and you have to draw a line joining this O and A, and simply extend to. This line outside the circle that will cut the circle at this point. 
okay so that is the point that is the point p okay so draw a line o1q parallel to op so that gives us the another point q and it is time to connect these two points p and q that will form a tangent common to both bigger circle and smaller circle okay the same thing has to be done to find out the another to draw the another tangent so in this case i need not use this semicircle method because it is in the symmetry so that is why i drawn two vertical lines from point to p and point to q got it so this will cut again at the point of this one and if simply that these two points are r and s now join r and s this gives common tangents to circles given of unequal radii equal radii and equal radii internal tangents external tangents i hope you understood